Now, Jennifer says their marriage is in shambles because her family has been getting targeted by hackers for the last year and a half. But Billy says he has evidence that leads back to his wife's phone, proving she is the hacker. Why was he looking at your phone? There were some trust issues. A friend told him you were getting ready to run away with another man. The more I found, the more she lied, the more she lied, the harder I looked. What do you mean by hacked? Someone that is doing this that is not me. Now, Jennifer was so adamant that someone else an ex, a family member, Billy, maybe even the Russians could be responsible. But I didn't believe one word Jennifer had to say, and I gave her chance after chance to come clean. Dr. Phil, here's the deal. I told Billy I did do this, I did do that, and that was one of the largest mistakes I could have ever made. So you confessed? Well, it was a false confession. She would never take her first confession back if she felt that way. She was sure wouldn't have gave me a second confession, a third confession, a fourth confession, a fifth confession. Do you want to be transparent about everything that's going on here? I was transparent for four and a half months with you. That There's seems... no way you were okay, transparent. Hang on. Have you been telling me the truth ever since you got here? I have not lied to you. Stop. Did somebody slip up and write stupid on my forehead? <laughs> well... No, no, look at me. You know that Jennifer knows no. how to I don't know. You're missing the point. I got the point, Doctor. What's the point? The point is that she's lying. You're back. I am sorry. I lied to you. So you lied about what? I got into his accounts with his passwords and would be able to use other devices to do it. Was there a hacker or were you the hacker? Yes, I was the hacker. So to be clear, there was no hacker just you so do you see why i kept saying i don't believe her yes now do you believe me yes i am sorry I dr Phil. i accept your apology and i hope you put this behind you thank you dr. okay yes. all right you. take sorry. care one key to success in a relationship is transparency and Sometimes it's really difficult once you take a position and it's, it's not an honest position, it's not a transparent position, it's not an authentic position. And it's, it's just like the old saying that really became famous during Watergate, it's not the crime, it's the cover up. It's always the cover up that's the bigger problem. And I think that if you own things in the beginning, Damage control is so much easier in a relationship. You say something you wish you hadn't said, own it right now. Don't decide, well, I said it, I better stick with it. No, own it right now. Defuse it right now. Because problems don't get better with time. They're like bills. You put a, you got a bill come in, you let it sit over there on the counter for three months, it doesn't get better with time. You got to deal with it when you get it. And I'm just saying nothing but attention and communication are going to fix problems when you get something between you and your partner. And you know, you've got to ask yourself before you open your mouth, am I willing, am I willing to really think this through and take a different position because the one I've been taking isn't working? Ask yourself that before you get into these frays with your partner.